I wonder what's going to happen with the box office this weekend. Well, today I have a fortune cookie to tell us. The movie you seek that will be number one will bomb terribly and be at number three. Skyscraper? Hey, so welcome to Box Office Report. It's pretty self-explanatory what we're going to do today. What we're going to do is we're going to go through the top ten movies of the box office this weekend and see which one did worst and which one did best through the, just the top ten. We're not going beyond that. So the top ten, okay? The series will come out every week, sometimes on Saturday, maybe sometimes on Sunday, maybe sometimes on Monday, but I will do this series frequently. So for number 10 on the box office right now, we have Ocean's 8. Um, it's actually pretty surprising to see this movie still on the top 10, because the movie came out, I was like thinking the movie's going to do awful. It came out at such a bad time. It came out right before Incredibles 2. And then right after Incredibles 2, you're going to get Jurassic World. Right after Jurassic World, you're going to get Sicario. Then you'd have, um, uh, then you'd have Ant-Man and the Wasp. Then you'd have, um, Hotel Transylvania 3 and Skyscraper to put up with. And the first Purge, so I thought the movie was going to do awful. And it turns out it's still in the top ten. I think it's very impressive to see this movie hold up so well. I really enjoyed Ocean's 8, so I'm happy it's holding up. So, yeah. It made about $2.9 million at the box office this weekend, so good for it. Maybe we'll get an Ocean's 9. I'd be down for it. And at number 9 is Uncle Drew, which made $2.9 million. I haven't seen this movie yet. I might see it. It's just that I'm not a comedy fan. I mean, I like comedies, but I'm not a comedy fan. But impressive to see this movie. I guess it makes sense that it's still in the top 10, but it's surprising to see it hold up so well against Sicario. I thought this movie was going to do awful because of Sicario, and it turns out the two are like, just like Uncle Drew's just one step behind Sicario, so good for Uncle Drew. And even got like a higher percentage on Rotten Tomatoes. Like how many got a higher percentage on Rotten Tomatoes than a Sicario movie? That's quite surprising. Speaking of Sicario, number 8, Sicario, Day of the Soldado, is at number 8, and it makes sense this movie's still in the top 10. It made $3.8 million in this weekend, and it is interesting to watch this movie do worse than I thought it was going to be. I guess the movie wasn't supposed, I didn't see it, but I guess the movie wasn't supposed to be amazing, so I guess it makes sense that it's not doing amazing, but I thought it would do a lot better. I don't know, this year we've seen so many underwhelming box office performances. And this one is not underwhelming. At number 7 is actually Sorry to Bother You. Wow, this movie single-handedly beat Oceans, Sicario, and Uncle Drew. Wow, that's actually really impressive of this movie. I, It's a comedy, I know I'm not probably going to end up seeing it. But it seems that it's doing really, really well. Good for it. I guess. Um, I'm happy that it's doing well. I mean, I don't. it doesn't really affect me in a negative way. I'm just going to hear everybody like, it's amazing. And I'll be like, my theater is not even showing Sorry to Bother You for some reason. So, oh well. But good for it. It made like $4 million. That's pretty impressive. And I don't even know anybody in the cast in that movie. And it's still here. That deserves a hand. At number six, we have the forgotten movie on the box office just I haven't focused on. That is um, the pur first Purge. It's like, it's so weird to see this movie even fall out of the top five. It's, it's kind of sad when you think about it. But I guess it did come out on a Wednesday, and I really hate when movies come out on Wednesdays because I can't do a box office report on one because... The websites I use only check the weekend. Like, this weekend it goes the 13th through the 15th. So, that movie has to go. It came out on the 4th, so how are we going to do this? Oh, well, it's doing fine, I guess, at the box office. It did It did strongly come out on 4th of July. I think this movie should start coming out on the Purge Day. Like, come on, I think this movie should come out, like, nearby the Purge. I mean, the Purge, the actual Purge was on a Wednesday this year, so you should have released it on a Wednesday in March. Just, why didn't you do that? No, because it has to be a patriotic 4th of July movie. It's not, it's a horror movie, for God's sake. And at number five is Jurassic World The Fallen Kingdom. And by the way, I just want to say that on um, First Purge made like $9.1 million. 
But it seems Jurassic World The Fallen Kingdom is not is giving very underwhelming box office performances in the United States. I thought it was going to do super well in the United States. However, because I, I was predicting like 130 million, it opened with 150 million. Pretty impressive by its standards. But instead, it opens this week with 15 million. And it looks like... Now, the movie just hit that 1 billion mark. Good for it, because I really enjoyed it. But I think that... The movie is not holding up well in America, and it's holding up well in China and other countries. It's opened everywhere now. So its run's probably about to end as reigning supreme really big movie. I guess it's doing good, but for some reason, number four is, like, really impressing me. Number four is Incredibles 2. This movie is thoroughly $16 million. That's thoroughly impressing me. Why? Because this movie's really big drop on its second week with losing a hundred million dollars. I mean, everybody was like, oh my gosh, you opened so bad, it's not even gonna make a billion dollars. But instead, what I feel like with that was, you had Jurassic World in next to it. It knew that, but instead, this movie is holding up so well. It's only opened in China and America. I think it may be open in a couple more countries this week. But it is doing super solid in America. Like, it's hit that 700 million mark, and I believe it could make, I think it can make, that one billion mark, and I do think it will be Jurassic World 2. Without a doubt, the movie is going to open pretty soon on the 27th in England. So yeah, I think the movie it still has a few countries to open up in, but it's doing really well for only opening like in three countries. I guess this is the American box office, but as the American box office goes, 16 million is quite good, because it's going up against a Jurassic Park movie. Ant-Man and the Wasp had a pretty bad draw. You know what else really underwhelmed me? Skyscraper. 25 million. Wow. Ice Rampage beat that 30 million mark. And Jumanji beat the 50 million mark. Wow, is this movie doing bad? I mean, it looks like it has that, like, 125 million dollar budget. But, God, I feel like this movie is going to be terrible. I think it's going to bomb really bad. I'm not, I haven't seen it yet. I'll see it. Me, I think I'm seeing it on Saturday, but I will get my review on it Saturday, but I do think this movie's underwhelming me, and the box office at exponential rates, 25 million, come on, I, you, you, you have one job, just beat the 30 million. And for number two, a movie that had a big drop, Ant-Man and the Wasp, had a big drop, over that 50% drop, but I'm not surprised, I mean, it had to go up against Skyscraper and another Hotel Transylvania movie, because, you know, families are going to go to that crap. But it is, it beats Skyscraper, and that's saying something. And I knew it was going to drop that, I think this will may. I think it will beat the 700 million mark. At least I hope it beats 600 million. I think the Am and the Wasp is going to do fine, because people are going to rewatch it. It's a hilariously good, fun action movie. I think people are going to go rewatch it. And every Marvel fan has to see it. So, yeah. You know what else surprised me this week? One movie that really... I was really expecting... Actually, this movie did not surprise me in any way, but... Number one this week, of course, is Hotel Transylvania 3, but 44 million. This movie has committed a crime. It beats Ready Player One on its opening weekend. You don't do that, crap movie. I probably would have been perfectly fine with this if this movie was good. It wasn't good. This is the third, I know fourth time I've said I don't like Hotel Transylvania 3 Summer Vacation. But I, I guess if families are going to see it. Let's hope this movie drops to like 10 million next week. That would be the saddest drop ever. If it makes 10 million next week, 75 million drop. So yeah. So what do I think is going to happen next week? Well, I do think that Equalizer 2 will open bigger than Mamma Mia. Maybe one will open bigger than the other. I hope, I think both will beat the 20 million mark. And I do believe that Equalizer 2 could beat that 30 million mark. I'm putting my money on it. I really... I'm really happy that we're getting an Equalizer sequel, even though I'm not even going to see it, because I'm not a fan of rated R movies. Unless they're Mad Max Fury Road, because that movie's freaking awesome. So that was the box office this week. What do you think is the most surprising? What do you think is the most underwhelming? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye. I don't have any news of what reviews are coming. I don't have anything to see right now. 
So yeah, I'm busy right now, so I can't watch Skyscraper. I'm super mad I have to get a review a week late. But whatever. See you guys next time. Goodbye! Why do I... Whatever.